Welcome to another example on determining if a given infinite series converges or diverges. Normally we start by applying the nth term divergent test. However, we should recognize that in this case, the nth term divergent test will not provide us with any information. The reason I say that is if we take a look at this limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, notice as n approaches infinity, both the numerator and denominator approach infinity, therefore we'd apply L'Hopital's rule but when we find the derivative of the numerator, this will be a constant, and because of the exponential in the denominator, the derivative will still contain an exponential, and therefore this limit will equal zero. So the question becomes what test we should apply to test for convergence or divergence. Well again, the nth term divergent test didn't help us. If we consider the geometric series test, this does resemble a geometric series because we have two raise the power of n in the denominator, but it's not a perfect match for a geometric series, so that's not going to help us, but because it resembles a geometric series, we could possibly use one of the comparison tests later. It doesn't resemble a p-series, it's also not telescoping or alternating. So we're left with the options listed under three and four. For the integral test, I wouldn't want to find the integral of this, so we'll skip that test. Notice that a sub n is not raised to the nth power, therefore the root test wouldn't be helpful. So we're left with the ratio test or a comparison test. And on top of that, sometimes more than one test can be used. And we're actually going to apply two different tests for this series. We're going to apply the ratio test as well as the limit comparison test, though it may take two videos to show both tests. And for this video, I think we'll use a limit comparison test because I think it's a little bit shorter. So let's start by reviewing the limit comparison test. To perform the limit comparison test, we first have to decide what series to compare it to and also know if the series we're comparing to is convergent or divergent. And because we notice that this resembles a geometric series, because we have two raised to the power of n in the denominator, we'll go ahead and compare it to a known converging geometric series, the summation of one divided by two to the n. So let's go ahead and let the given series be the summation of a sub n, and now we'll compare this to the summation of b sub n, which will be the infinite sum of one divided by two to the n, which converges by the geometric series test with the absolute value of r is equal to, in this case, one half, which is less than one. Now it's important to decide whether we're comparing to a converging or diverging series so we know how to apply the limit comparison test. So in our case, we're only going to be using this first statement where b sub n is the known converging series and a sub n, a sub n comes from the given series. So if the limit of this ratio is greater than zero and we know that the summation of b sub n converges then the summation of a sub n must also converge. On the other hand, if we wanted to do a comparison to a diverging series, the summation of b sub n would be known to diverge, and therefore this limit is greater than zero, where we know the summation of b sub n diverges, then the summation of a sub n would also diverge. But again, because we selected a converging series, we're looking at this first case here which means our goal here is to show this limit is greater than zero. So we want to show the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, which we're saying is three n plus one divided by n times two to the n divided by b sub n, which is one divided by two to the n. Now to find this limit, let's rewrite this quotient as a division problem. This is equal to the limit of the numerator divided by the denominator or the numerator times the reciprocal of the denominator. So we would have three n plus one divided by n times two to the n times the reciprocal of one over two to the n, which is two to the n divided by one. Notice how this is helpful because now two to the n over two to the n simplifies to one. This becomes a very simple limit. This is just equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of three n plus one 
divided by n. And because the degree of the numerator and denominator are both the same, or one, this limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which in this case would just be three over one or three. And since three is greater than zero, and we know the summation of b sub n converges, then the given series, the summation of a sub n, must also converge. Let's go ahead and summarize this. By the limit comparison test, since the summation of b sub n, which is equal to the summation of one divided by two to the n, converges by the geometric series test, and the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n, which is equal to three, which is greater than zero, then the summation of a sub n, which is equal to the summation of three n plus one divided by n times two to the n converges. Now remember, as we stated earlier, in the next video we'll show how we can determine this series converges by using the ratio test rather than the limit comparison test. I hope you found this helpful.